here that you have on here. Uh, this rod here, we braided out to uh, this is a 6.3 medium heavy and a braided 50 to 80 pounds. So, what? go figure, right? No, right on. Right. Yes. Um, we're using 50 pound fluorocarbon leaders. We got the mono white ons on this. Uh, the white on leaders that they come with are about 25 feet long. It's a little too long for jigging. I like to keep them at about 10 or 11 feet at the most. You don't really need that. Uh, the main thing with the, the fluorocarbons is the fish doesn't see it, but also keeps the jig from fouling. I'm going to show you how to hook the jig. That Power Pro, this is 50 pound, has real thin diameter, which allows you to fish better because it goes through and there's a lot less uh, resistance on, on the line. So you can drop it down quicker. Uh, you can fish a smaller jig, lighter jig, and a lot more efficient. When that jig starts to go that way, it's getting so far away from the boat that you're not going to be able to get to those fish. The ideal is to fish straight up and down. These are a little bit different. Butterfly jig falls a little bit differently. These flat falls, as you can see, they have a different thin shape. As they go down really fast, you drop it in a straight freeze pool. As they go down and catch currents, they do this. They wander, good, good thing. So they actually, that's why their name is a butterfly jig. So you'll notice as you're dropping down and you get down there, you'll feel this bump. Yeah. You're on, put it in gear. There's not a lot of hook sending capability on You don't need to. You're fishing almost straight power pro. There is no stretch. So that much is like way more stretch than you could, or way more power than you would normally see from monofilament. Monofilament is a big, thick, plastic line. So you have very little stretch. I mean, the line's not moving. It's pretty much straight. So you don't have a lot of hook setting power, but you don't need it. So as that jig falls down there, once you get to the bottom, then it's a retrieve. Now it's a different retrieve. It's not this. It's more like, I'm gonna try and do this without, it's more like this. Just that. What's the ratio? Want, this is 6.2 to 1. So you're getting about 36 inches per crank. So every one turn is three feet. So the thing with jigging is, and I'm going to explain the line a little bit. That's a lot. That three feet, you make your 10 turns, you're 36 feet off the bottom. So you, you're in that zone. You drop back down. The benefit of this line, as you can see, this is the, the depth under. It's got colors on it and everything. It is colored. Every 25 feet, it changes color. So if Mark says, hey, I got a meter mark of yellows at 100 feet, you can go down, say, four colors, five colors, and stay within that range. So you're staying in there. So you're not going to kill yourself by going down 400 feet, ripping it up to the surface, 400 feet. It actually, if you pay attention when you get your first bite, if you just look down and go, okay, it's green. I got bit in the green. So once you see that you're starting getting bit in the green, you know, okay, once I get to orange, I'm probably not getting bit. I'm going to drop back down. I'm going to drop two colors, drop back in gear, and throw it. Now, like I said, the retrieve is kind of like a... Just like that. You want the tip of your rod not to do this. You want it to do this. You want it to stay loaded and do that. This jig, as it comes up the water column, is doing this. You ever always watch Bassmaster Classic, those guys throwing zero spooks on the surface? Same scenario, but vertically. Up the water column. You want it to do that. That kind of gives them a hypnotic look and they eat it really good. Um, it's pretty fun, fun fishing. When you get hit, it's a, it's a different strike, but it's an awesome strike. It's a little bit different setup here. So you got your uh, butterfly jig or your flat ball. This is a, a 168, so as you can see, it's kind of a funky shape. Goes down, kind of pretty foofy colors, but we all know yellowtail like the foofy colors. So it's a chrome on one side. You got your pink, your yellow, your blue. It's a good color jig there. Um, now rather, yeah. I think heavy, I don't want to feel that. So with these, <coughs> let me uh, to rig these up, they rig up a little bit differently. There's no trouble hook or anything of that nature. You have a split ring and a solid ring. And with that, you also have some marks in my pocket. Can you rig my rod for me, please? Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah! I just want to drop it down to catch fish. Now, you can use one hook or two hooks. Um, it's kind of up to you. Two hooks work really well. One hook, it, it usually doesn't matter too much. You know, if they're biting, they're biting. 
So what we do is you've got your stinger hook, like so. You guys have been fishing, you've probably seen this in magazines and everything. So you got your stinger hook, you got a split ring, and you got a solid ring. Pretty complicated, but not really. And then you've got your, your split ring pliers. So you rig the lure from the top backwards. So it's a little different than what you normally see. So you get your split ring, open it up, put it through the eye, the front eye, come back around. So now you're 50% rigged. Then you take your solid ring. Are you doing that in a wide open bite? Yeah, but you know what? When you get used, it, it's pretty quick. And if you want, I can do it for you too. Well, I'll show you the benefit on a wide open bite. I'm going to show you something here that's going to blow your mind. So, so are, they, are the rods going to be rigged up? Or? Yes, they are. Oh, okay. we're, that's what we're going to do this evening. We're going to finish up rigging up everything. So we don't have to like rig up during the bite and try to decide. Nope. Nope. Uh, we got the, we'll have them all rigged up for you. Scrab and go? Yeah. Just to let you guys know, all the uh, Shimano stuff is on the uh, bow here on the uh, port side of the boat right there. So you can grab that. So you got your solid ring. You got your um, split ring as well. Split ring, solid ring. In the solid ring, you put your stinger hook just like you normally do. You go through the hook, back through, loop it around, just like so. And we're on this one, just to show you, we're going to put two. So you take one on, put another one on. Once it's rigged up, is that on the ring? Can't really see it. It's on the solid ring, yep. On the solid ring, just yeah. like that. Alright, got it. Okay, there's a benefit of why it's like that too, I'll show you. Then we uh you use we the tie same length on the uh the same length on the on the hooks, or do you stagger them? Like use a long and a medium? No, I use the same size. Okay. When the fish eats it like that, they're hitting it so violently it doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah. I, I will say this, certain length hooks make the baits do certain things. That's kind of the fun part of jig. You figure out what it works. Some are, are longer. If you have a big jig, a longer one may be better. If you have a smaller jig, I think. These five odds for the jigs that we're going to be fishing tomorrow from this 168 up to a 224 and up to down to a 140, is, this is the size to do it. Um, then you just tie it on. Try not screw up our wood here. <laughs> Tying to the solid ring. You're going to be tying it to the solid ring. So, when it's once it's all tied up, tie the top hook. So it should lay just like that when it falls. So when it falls, these will move forward, they'll come up, it allows the jig to do whatever it wants. The cool thing is that once you hang a yellow, it's got no leverage. Yeah, it's done. Because you're tied hook to hook, so it can do whatever it wants, it swings what it wants. If the fishing's really good, I'm not kidding, I've done it at Cedros a bunch of times, I haven't landed both of them. I've caught two or three yellows, or two yellows at a time, quite often. You'll catch one <laughs> on one, one on another. You always lose them because by the time you realize that you've caught the fish, it's up to gaff, and one freaks out and rips off. But it does happen, and they don't fight any harder because all they're doing is pulling with each other up to the surface. <laughs> so that's the whole butterfly jig right there setup.